Hi, welcome. The topic of this video is websites and it is in regards to the new release of 18.10. 18 ASOs we're going to put online on the 13 October. We have, thanks to your support, we have um, bought two more websites and we are going to show them to you now. But let's assume you are, you never heard about Arc Linux. So what are the, all these websites? We have here this home and there's a forum, which is obviously uh, to ask questions and to be more technical. So Facebook and Google Plus or, um, are not suited to communicate with our users. So the forum is a way to uh, analyze what's going on in your system and we us trying to help. Now the Article Linux information website is what we're on. So that's one, one link we don't see because we are there already. That's the one that provides information about Arc Linux, who we are, our editions, or project visions. You just check the menu. And we have here the beta links. All the beta testers know they have to check out these pages, so these pages because of uh, development, right? Some blog news releases and beta test information, gallery, third parties, other people talking about Arch Linux, and testimonials. We appreciate all the good things you've said about us in the past. It's great, it motivates us. And the download link uh, where you can download everything. So, like I said, it's about 18 ISOs at this point in time. We'll make six more. And you'll see why there are so many. Donations, yes, we prov thank you for providing us donations because that makes, makes it easy to uh, take decisions like buying a new website and then the FAQ and the contact page. So this is the general website where we give information about what's Arch Linux. But then, next one is articlinux.com and then you end up here. So this gives us information about lots of things. It's probably the a website where the most articles are because it applies to Arco Linux, the big ISO, XFC, Openbox i3, and it applies also to elements that are not suited to go on Arco Linux D or Arco Linux B, or the new one, well, both are new, B and Arco Linux ISO. So these, can, these will contain the most elements, but it sometimes happens that an article is also written on Arco Linux D because of the fact uh, what it is. So you check out the start here and the general and check out what all these menus are. And then if not found, you can go in the search and you can use the tags down here or you can use the categories. And don't forget our fixes menu. I've seen that a lot of people find their way to the fixes, a lot of hits. So yes, when there is something a miss, then people contact us and say, okay, look, this package from AOR is not working. Um, can you help me? Yeah, and then we make a fix and then everything is easily uh, fixed and explained. And afterwards you've learned something. So it is really a learning history. Okay, so arclinux.com, a lot of information, go check it out, use the search. And then arclinuxd.com is the minimal. ISO, or let's call it a bare ISO because we're using the word minimal now for something else. We'll see later. So this is a bare ISO. It's uh, one gigabyte and you end up in a black terminal. The guys who have ever installed Arch Linux the Archway, that's it. It's a black terminal. Go type your commands and then you have your system. But the graphical installation is there. So you install a graphical black screen, if you know what I mean. Okay, you have to see a video to maybe get that. Arch Linux B is new and it was, it used to be, it used to be here in phase four, it's still here. So if you click on phase four, you just move to Arch Linux B. And let's maybe not forget to mention that we have also phase five here. Otherwise I'll forget telling you that there is a learning phase, one, two, three, four, five, and this five one is installing Arch Linux, the Arch way, and forget about Arch Linux. And everything is installed, then you can spice up your system with Arch Linux elements, configurations, icons, themes, and so on. 
So phase four has moved to a special site. So it is by far, I think, one of the most interesting elements of Arca Linux. If only people would know more. So that's also a part of this video. Arc Linux B <coughs> started without the minimal. So it means that you built Arc Linux ISO yourself, you edit elements yourself. Arc Linux D is our very minimal one, the bare one, sorry, bare one. Okay. And then we decided let's make, if you know, if you have this knowledge to make the Arc Linux D with a variant like here, Arc Linux D with XFCE. Arc Linux D with open box. If you have the knowledge to make that, then you have the knowledge to make it in an ISO, right? So that's how it's all evolved, starting with Arc Linux ISO, making something without desktops, and then saying, okay, let's put a desktop in it on it on this Arc Linux D, and then build an ISO because that took also some some effort and some knowledge and learning that sending an ISO over the world. And, and the way to build an ISO, the script here, we have to think of a lot of things. And I think we're there yet. We're there to have something beautiful, simple, run script 30, walk away, you have an ISO, off, awesome, BSPWM, and so on. So after all this being developed, we thought, hey, these things are still two gigabytes big. What if we make a minimal build your own ISO? So this is 1.3, 1.4 gigabyte big. It will include one browser, one editor, and so on. So if we've selected a few elements, but not giving you uh, something black uh, when you, you enter it, it's it's minimal. But it's it's there, it works, and, and you'll be able to, to do your thing. But you need to maybe install more stuff. That's what I feel when I'm working on a minimal. I'm missing Melt, I'm missing Inkscape, I'm missing GIMP, I'm missing Firefox, and so on. A lot of things have not been installed, but that's maybe something you'll uh, appreciate. Again, any if you're on, on this website, at B, it's not our intention that you say, okay, I'm gonna click here, click here, and then I'm gonna download. And down here, download. Yes, we built the ISO. It's there on the ice on the SourceForge in um, the 13th of October. But the idea is that you build it. So you follow a little procedure, git clone this thing, change the packages or not, run script 30, and you have an ISO. But the thing is that you should change the package build because oh, it, it did not conclude that editor. Oh, I want this browser and I want Steam on it and so on. It's just typing. S-T-E-A-M and Steam Runtime and that's it and you have Steam on your eyes so so we are giving you superpowers to build your own Arc Linux system okay enough talks about that and this one Arc Linux ISO that's uh, a new one and that's for phase 6 we are at well well in the future eh, we will make more tutorials how to make an Arch Linux based ISO from scratch, from zero, from starting really from zero. So that's gonna be tough, technical. Um, we're not there yet, don't have the knowledge yet to, to um, go from A till Z, but there are already things that we have thought uh, and, and have our, there are articles and videos about things that are not suited for these guys the other, well, the other um, websites, but are actually elements that you need later if you want to build an ISO for people, for others, right? So this information is then more uh, suitable for the Arc Linux ISO website. And last but not least, let's still, let's end one more time with our forum. So soon all these ISOs will go online and um, um, if there are problems or issues, come to this place, ask your questions here, and everybody will pitch in, not just me, but everybody, any user can help another user, and that's the idea of Linux, help each other. All right, so um, that's the pitch about um, all these websites, and uh, the new websites, and of course, the very 
important project. I hope you realize what we're giving you. Article links B and the minimal one then. Both of them is build it yourself and use whatever applications on it that suit you and make it personal. All right, enjoy.